Hey there guys, Neil here with a feature review. So if you've ever taken a picture and realized that there are some parts of the picture that you want to remove, but you're unable to go back and take that picture because let's say the moment's gone or you're no longer in that same location, then that is where Snapseed's new healing fe feature comes into play. So this Snapseed is available for Android and iOS for free. So after you've, if you've already installed the app, be sure to get the latest update. Or if you don't use it, um, be sure to uh, check it out and install it on your device to try out this new feature. Um, but basically this, the healing feature allows you to edit your picture to blur out, remove, and otherwise adjust pictures so you can take out parts of the picture you no longer want. So with that, I will um, jump right into an example. So I'll open up Snapseed. Um, I have a picture there, but um, I will go back start over. I was me messing around with it a little bit earlier. So I'll go and open picture. I'll go into my gallery, and then I'll pick a picture that I want to edit. So you see I already saved this picture, but I'll go into the original. So in this case, I have this picture. There's this building on our, the right with an antenna. There's some cars in front of me. So let's say I want to remove the building and antenna and then the cars. I'll go into edit. I'll touch healing. And then I'll zoom in onto the building here. You'll see that a dashed white line uh, or circle shows up to show you how big the edit is going to be. Um, you can either just touch the part of the picture you want to remove. So if it's a particular spot or spec you want to remove, you can do that. Or you can um, drag your finger in the direction you want to remove. So I got rid of that antenna, it's blurred out and matched it with the background. And then I'll do the same thing with the building here. And I'll smooth it out a little bit like that so um, it looks um, like it's no longer there. So I no longer have that building. It's more or less smoothed out. It's, a, it's kind of blended in with the wall on the bottom and the sky above it. So now let's say I want to get rid of um, this car that's on the um, road in front of me. So actually I will undo that and I will zoom out, zoom in onto the car that's, that I want to remove. And I'll drag my uh, finger up a few times and to get rid of the car. And as you can see, it's blurring the road into the car. Um, it's not going to be perfect in this case just because um, there's very a, a bunch of the road to worry about. But for the most part, the car is gone. Uh, if you spend a little bit more time, you can get rid of the, um, bit, get rid of it a little bit more better than I did did right now. But um, for the quickness of it, as you can see, you, I got rid of the car and it, it works a little bit better if you spend a little bit more time on it, but um, you can, the object has now been removed. And then you, a similar thing can be done with people or birds or planes or whatever other objects might be in your picture that you don't longer want. And then you'll see at the bottom of the screen it says 24 patches, so that's the number of times I've used the healing effect. So I can. Um, undo it so it, um, if I did um, try if I drag my feature or finger where I didn't want to then I can undo it and try again so that's really all there is for that for this particular feature so um, it's worth giving a shot so you don't have to necessarily go back and um, retake a picture or if the moment's gone then you don't have to worry about it you can edit out the parts you no longer want or take out parts of the picture that are um, not really related to it so touching the checkbox will commit those changes and then you can use um, Snapseed to make other changes as well. So cropping, transforming, uh, and use various filter like lens, filters like lens blur, HDR scape, grainy, and things like that. So it's definitely worth a shot. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com and you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular uh, screencast. Thanks for watching and listening and until next time.